Let's delve into the fascinating concept of the particle horizon in cosmology. Definition, the particle horizon, also known as the cosmological horizon, comoving horizon, or cosmic light horizon, represents the maximum distance from which light from particles could have traveled to an observer since the beginning of the universe. Much like the concept of a terrestrial horizon, the particle horizon defines the boundary between the observable and unobservable regions of the cosmos. In other words, it marks the farthest distance from which we can receive information, in the form of light, within the current age of the universe. Conformal time, to understand the particle horizon, we need to introduce the concept of conformal time. Conformal time is a time coordinate that accounts for the expansion of the universe. It is not the actual age of the universe but rather the time it would take for a photon to travel from our location to the furthest observable distance if the universe stopped expanding. Mathematically, the conformal time at a certain time is given by eta equals indefinite integral 0 ta t dt, where t is the cosmic time, a t is the scale factor of the universe at time t. Particle horizon distance, the particle horizon's comoving distance, i.e., distance adjusted for cosmic expansion, is equal to the conformal time multiplied by the speed of light torus and equal c. Note that this distance is not a physically meaningful time, it represents the conceptual boundary beyond which we cannot receive information due to the universe's expansion. As time passes, the particle horizon recedes and the observed size of the universe continually increases. Observable universe, the particle horizon defines the size of the observable universe at the present epoch. While the age of the universe times the speed of light is approximately 13.8 billion light years, the actual particle horizon distance is slightly different due to the expansion of space. The particle horizon is a fundamental limit on what we can observe, and it plays a crucial role in our understanding of cosmic evolution. In summary, the particle horizon represents the cosmic boundary beyond which we cannot receive information from particles due to the universe's expansion. It's a captivating concept that connects the observable and unobservable realms of our vast cosmos. Conformal time in cosmology. Definition, conformal time is a measure of time used in cosmology that accounts for the expansion of the universe. It is based on the concept of a conformal transformation, which allows us to map distances and times consistently. Mathematical expression, conformal time, denoted as, backslash eta, is calculated as follows, eta equals indefinite integral to, t, where, t represents cosmic time, a, t, is the scale factor of the universe at time, t, cosmic expansion and scale factor, the scale factor, a, t, comes from solving the Friedman equations, which describe the evolution of the universe. For instance, in a matter-dominated universe, a, t, is proportional to, t caret, two-thirds, Integral form, we can express conformal time as eta equals indefinite integral a 2 de, where h z is the Hubble parameter as a function of redshift z. The integral is evaluated from an initial condition, usually z equals backslash inf t to the desired redshift or cosmic time. Current conformal time, to find the conformal time at the present epoch, t underscore zero, we integrate from z equals backslash inf t to z equals zero eta, t zero equals h zero one indefinite integral zero infinity dz z, where e z accounts for the contributions from various components, for example, dark energy, matter, radiation, curvature. Numerical example, using current cosmological parameters, we find that, backslash eta, t underscore zero, corresponds to approximately 45.70 gigas. Conformal time provides a fascinating perspective on the cosmic evolution, bridging the gap between distances and time in our expanding universe. The intriguing connection between conformal time and redshift in cosmology, conformal time, conformal time, denoted as, backslash eta, is a cosmic time coordinate that accounts for the expansion of the universe. It is defined as eta, a, equals indefinite integral 0 a a 2 h, a, the, where, a, represents the scale factor of the universe at a given time, h, a, is the Hubble parameter as a function of the scale factor. Redshift and scale factor, the redshift, z, is related to the scale factor, a, by 1 plus z equals a 1 as the universe expands, the scale factor increases, leading to larger redshifts for distant objects. Conformal time in terms of redshift, we can express conformal time in terms of redshift as follows, eta, z, equals h0 1 indefinite integral 0 1 forward slash, 1 plus z, r 0 plus m, 0 a plus k, 0 a 2 plus, 0 a 4 the, backslash omega underscore, r 0, backslash omega underscore, m, 0, backslash omega underscore, k, 0. 
and backslash omega underscore backslash lambda zero are the density parameters for radiation, matter, curvature, and dark energy, respectively. H underscore zero is the present-day Hubble constant. Numerical example for our current cosmological parameters, the present conformal age of the universe backslash eta underscore zero is approximately 45.93 gigas. Here are some specific values at radiation matter equality Z underscore E equals 3234 backslash frac backslash eta underscore E backslash eta underscore zero backslash approx 0.00828. At matter dark energy equality, Z underscore E equals 0 0.39, backslash frac, backslash eta underscore E, backslash eta underscore 0, backslash approx 0 0.894. At decoupling, Z underscore D equals 1089, backslash frac, backslash eta underscore D, backslash eta underscore 0, backslash approx 0 0.0198. In summary, Conformal time provides a unique perspective on cosmic evolution, bridging distances and time, while redshift reflects the expansion of the universe. Spectral lines play a crucial role in understanding the properties of celestial objects. Let's explore definition. A spectral line is like a fingerprint that helps identify the atoms, elements, or molecules present in stars, galaxies, or interstellar gas. When we separate incoming light using a prism or other methods, we observe a spectrum of colors crossed with discrete lines. Significance. Astronomers use spectral lines to determine various physical properties. Composition, identifying the elements or molecules. Temperature, derived from line characteristics. Ionization state, revealing ionized species. Velocity, measuring motion, for example, redshift. Magnetic fields, detected through line splitting. Density, inferred from line strengths. Example, from spectral lines, we can deduce not only the element but also the temperature, density, and even whether a star has a magnetic field. The width of the line provides information about how fast the material is moving. In summary, spectral lines act as cosmic fingerprints, allowing astronomers to unravel the secrets of the universe. The particle horizon, also known as the cosmological horizon, comoving horizon, or cosmic light horizon, represents the maximum distance from which light from particles could have traveled to an observer since the beginning of the universe. It is akin to the concept of a terrestrial horizon, marking the boundary between the observable and unobservable regions of the cosmos. The particle horizon's distance at the present epoch defines the size of the observable universe. Due to the expansion of the universe, the particle horizon is not simply the age of the universe times the speed of light, approximately 13.8 billion light years. Instead, it is the speed of light times the conformal time. Conformal time, conformal time is a cosmic time coordinate that accounts for the universe's expansion. Mathematically, the conformal time at a certain time is given by eta equals indefinite integral 0 ta t dt, where t is the cosmic time, a t is the scale factor of the universe at time t. Particle horizon distance, the particle horizon's comoving distance is equal to the conformal time multiplied by the speed of light horizon equals c. It represents the conceptual boundary beyond which we cannot receive information due to the universe's expansion. As time passes, the particle horizon recedes and the observed size of the universe continually increases. Cosmic evolution, the particle horizon's discovery is intertwined with our understanding of cosmic evolution. Its existence, properties, and significance depend on the specific cosmological model being considered. In summary, the particle horizon is a captivating concept that connects the observable and unobservable realms of our vast cosmos, revealing the limits of our cosmic perception. Observable and unobservable regions of the cosmos, observable universe. The observable universe refers to the portion of the cosmos from which we can receive information, such as light, within the current age of the universe. It includes all the galaxies, stars, and cosmic structures whose light has had enough time to reach us since the beginning of the universe. The observable universe has a finite size, determined by the particle horizon, or cosmic light horizon. As the universe expands, the observable region continually grows larger. Unobservable regions. Beyond the observable universe lies the unobservable or inaccessible region. Objects in this region are so distant that their light has not yet reached us due to the finite speed of light and the expansion of space. We cannot directly observe events or structures beyond the particle horizon. The unobservable regions contain galaxies, quasars, and other cosmic phenomena that are forever beyond our reach. Cosmic Limitations The particle horizon acts as a fundamental limit on what we can observe. 
even with powerful telescopes, we cannot see beyond this boundary. The unobservable regions remain tantalizing mysteries, waiting for future generations of astronomers to explore. In summary, the observable universe provides a glimpse into the vast cosmic tapestry, while the unobservable regions hold secrets yet to be unveiled. Dark energy has intriguing effects on our observations of distant galaxies. Let's explore gravitational lensing. Massive objects, such as galaxies and galaxy clusters, warp the fabric of space and time. This distortion creates an effect called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing bends and magnifies the light from distant galaxies that lie behind massive foreground objects. By analyzing this lensing, astronomers can infer the amount of dark matter present in those foreground galaxies. Dimming of distant galaxies. If dark energy is stable, space continues to stretch indefinitely. As a result, distant galaxies appear dimmer over time. Their light gets stretched to longer wavelengths, making them harder to observe. Eventually, the universe may expand faster than the speed of light, causing the light from billions of galaxies to disappear. In summary, dark energy influences our observations by affecting gravitational lensing and altering the brightness of distant galaxies. That was all, goodbye.